50 hertz versus 60 hertz a subtle difference the electrical grid operates on a rhythmic pulse measured in hertz hertz while most of the world runs on 50 hertz north america and parts of asia use 60 hertz essentially this number indicates how many times the current alternates direction in a second the birth of two standards the choice between 50 hertz and 60 hertz was largely historical early electrical pioneers nikola tesla and thomas edison championed different frequencies over time these standards solidified with europe adopting 50 hertz and the us leaning towards 60 hertz subtle performance variations while both frequencies power our world effectively there are minor differences 60 hertz systems tend to be slightly more efficient for long distance transmission while 50 hertz systems might have a slight edge in motor torque however these distinctions are often negligible in practical applications equipment compatibility a global challenge the divergence in frequencies creates compatibility issues appliances designed for one standard might not function optimally or at all in the other this has led to the development of dual voltage devices and frequency converters to bridge the gap flicker sensitivity a visual impact the human eye is more sensitive to flicker at lower frequencies this means 50 hertz systems can sometimes produce a noticeable flicker in lights especially fluorescent ones while modern technology has minimized this issue it's a factor to consider in certain applications harmonics unwanted frequencies both 50 hertz and 60 hertz systems can generate harmonics which are multiples of the fundamental frequency these harmonics can cause interference in communication systems and power quality issues effective filtering is essential to mitigate their impact the future of power a harmonized world as technology advances the need for global standardization becomes increasingly apparent while a unified frequency might seem like a distant dream due to the massive infrastructure involved efforts to harmonize power systems are ongoing efficiency and cost the bottom line ultimately the efficiency and cost effectiveness of power systems depend on various factors beyond frequency factors like transmission line losses equipment design and energy sources play a more significant role in determining overall performance the power of choice the choice between 50 hertz and 60 hertz is a historical artifact rather than a technological imperative both frequencies have proven reliable and efficient in powering our modern world as technology continues to evolve the distinctions between the two may become even less relevant